Hey, how you doing? This is Trigger, and I want to wish you a post happy Thanksgiving. So, what did I do for Thanksgiving? Well, I had the turkey, I had the mashed potatoes, I had the gravy, all the typical turkey stuff you do, the typical American Thanksgiving dinner that you have, the green bean casserole, the stuffing. Um, there's cranberries there, but I never eat the cranberries. I'm not one of those. It's it's nice to have the cranberries there, and it feels good to have them there, but I never eat it. It's not one of the things I do. <laughs> but uh, you're probably wondering, am I a dark meat guy or a white meat guy? Well, I am a dark meat guy and a guy. So I like the dark meat of the turkey. That's kind of something I've always, um, you know, done. I've always eaten that. I'll eat the white meat too, but typically it's a dark meat. I, I like it a little better. Um, for turkey, that is. <laughs> so, um, so the thing is, here what you're watching here is Castlevania Harmony of Despair. Uh, this is um, a pretty interesting video because it sort of looked like a little bit of a romantic uh, fling going on at the end with Yoko and Alucard. <laughs> but you can, uh, you know, look at that and, and uh, judge that for yourself. But um, today's Tuesday. This is, um, you know, my Trigger Tuesdays. I just put out any kind of video I want. Um, talk about anything I want, just kind of one of those uh, ways to unload, ways to, uh, you know, um, talk about the day, talk about what's happened, and what's going on, things like that. So, you know, it, you're probably, you're probably wondering, um, you know, why am I talking about Thanksgiving? Well, it was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, not extremely eventful, you know, kind of sort of on the quiet end, but, uh, you know, still the food was decent. And um, there's still a lot of potatoes left, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> I guess it doesn't take much to make me happy <laughs> with that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, this is um, this is a pretty good video. And um, you know, as far as um, today goes, um, not too much is going on right now. Not not really much going on. I was playing I was um, playing COD, um, playing um, Ghost the other night. And we're playing squads with the um, with the guys. I'm the Zodiac, um, Infamous BC, um, Robert Robinson. I mean, some of the main characters in the Crow Clan. We were playing that. We we're getting to like level 24, uh, level 25 for squads, and um, it is getting kind of difficult now. I mean, I you know I guess we're not quite agreeing as to what we should do um, as far as what we're going to do. See, I've I've played this once. When I played it before, it was the um, it was the old uh, Modern Warfare 3, the uh, the survival mode. You know where you have the waves of juggernauts again. You know the helicopter, and um, you know everything just coming after you with the dogs and everything. And uh, I found that the Sea Town, I think it was called Seaport or Sea Town, but it was it was sort of a castle-like structure, sort of an Arabian-like structure. And, uh, you know, you get off that one ledge in the cafe and you jump over onto the arch pathway and you just go all the way to the end you lay down and you can shoot all the guys that are coming at you and you can get them pretty good, but you can't stop the helicopters. But it's also kind of a, a nice, safe area where you can jump off in case you're in trouble, you know, and go down and sort of, you know, get away and heal up and then take out, take out a guy here and there. You know, that's a, that's a good spot. And I thought that was a pretty decent spot. And this one, I'm not sure, I don't think there are any helicopters. I think it's just more and more guys. Because um, we did get up, I did get up to 28 um, with uh, Infamous BC and uh, another guy. We sort of camped this one spot, you know, where they had to crawl up all these different areas um, to get to. And I think it was in the freight uh, map. I can't remember the name. Uh, I just can't remember the names right now. There's like 13 maps. You know, I've, I, I know a few of them you know by name but I just don't remember the names I want to like you know give my own name to the map because it's you know just like that it's sort of you know it, it's just what I I end up doing a lot of the time I end up calling uh, I think it's um stronghold or or um, the castle map I just call it the castle map you know I just I just do that so but uh, yeah so um, I was trying to you know get them to sort of camp a bit you know camp back because after like wave I think it's what 22 20 23 I mean the guys just get so incredibly hard to kill you know you need to sort of like 
keep a, a barrier between you and them so they don't even get to you. They can't even like come and touch you. Because when the dogs get to you, I mean the dogs come in like pairs of three and there's just, it's so hard to kill those dogs so quickly. Uh, even if you knife one, the other two are jumping at you so fast. I mean, you almost have to like keep on the go, keep on the run. Um, but you know, with all the with all the dropped packages and stuff, you know, it's kind of hard to you know get your team to stay together because everybody wants to go for those dropped packages. They want to go get stock or they want to go get you know this or that. And I understand some of them are pretty valuable, but I think that um, you know overall. It's kind of best to stay in a group and stay in an area that you can control until it sort of falls apart and then have a backup plan or have a, a fallout plan where you can escape and run to. Because if you got three guys down and you're at that high of a level, chances are you're not going to be able to revive them too well. So you're better off just running them off and um, you know trying to pick off a guy here and there and trying to play it safe. You know, something like that. So. I've, I've been, you know, a contingency plan that you can, you know, get to and uh, move around and do. So I've been trying to work on that, and uh, so far squads is a lot of fun. Um, it's in, it's really a lot of fun. Plus you actually get, you get points for your main character by playing squads. So you can actually build up your, um, your squad points, your character points, and uh, get points that you can use to uh, buy a new gun for multiplayer. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. Just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, that and this and everything. <laughs> so, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I got a pretty cool video coming up that I'm going to put out soon. Uh, it's got a lot of mixture of different things that I've done. And uh, so, yeah, be, uh, be on the lookout for that. So, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.